Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting, and this time I'm going to share with you how to get this deep green that we have seen sometimes in the Dark Elder. Uh, you can use it as well on Chaos Warriors, as I'm using here. Any time that you want to use this deep green, so I'm going to. It's a method that I find that quite curious because I was looking for a different color, but at the end I end up with this color, and I think was worth it to share it, okay? So we are going to start with white primer and I'm going to apply a layer of Bajaro Blue on this uh, miniature. Okay, so we are going to take a brush and I will do this on all, in that case on all the parts where I want this deep green to be. So I will apply that just one layer, I try to avoid in that case to go on the leather part and other parts where I don't want it. And yeah, and I'm back once it is done. Okay. So but I will do this all over the armor. Okay, so I do that and I'm back once this is done. Okay. Once we have this fancy color, this fancy blue on the miniature, next step I'm going to apply black templar on top okay so we are going to do we are going to start from the top now we are going to fill the full miniature Okay, with black templar and this will give the sensation of greenish color once it dries okay so I will apply this as you can see thin layer well not, not too thin but uh, just to be sure this time I want to be sure I cover everything so uh, even the one the part that you yeah, if I go a little bit on the brown I will clean up later on but this time I want to ensure that I cover all the parts including the chain mail because I want to apply this the metallic over the over the uh, black templar okay so I'm going to do this and then let it dry And what I was when I was doing that, what I was looking for was to have a bluish black, and end up more greenish than bluish. This is why I decided at the end to change the concept and go more for a for this very dark green that is more common in the dark elder. But I think it also looks good. On the on these warriors, okay. It's important that we don't miss any part. The gloves, well, you, you, you can try to avoid to dirt them, but if you dirt them, just clean it up later on. What is important is to apply as a nice, a solid layer of this um, black Templar black. Um, when you apply contrast. Uh, as usual, um, try to not to use your best brush. These contrast paints are quite are, are damaging the brushes mainly not because they have, have more hard uh, hardest material or paint. It's because it's so fluid that goes easily to the to to this part to the metal part, and then it's opening the uh, the the brush and uh, the brush vessels. Okay. So, yeah, I want to kind of finalize this part. You can see that they give this nice greenish tone now, once it's drying. Um, if you see that it's pulling too much in some parts, just remove it with your brush a little bit. Um, but it's like applying the contrast for any other, uh, in any other, under any other situation, okay? The point is, um, I'm experimenting now applying the contours over different sort of, um, colors to see how the contours is changing. You can see 
Once it starts drying, you have more a greenish type of color. And later on, we are going to highlight on that. Okay. So I'm going to wait that this dries, and I'm back. The wash has dried, and you can see we have this greenish tone. So now we are going to work on the highlights. Uh, I'm going to use. Uh, I, I, I will. I put in my palette the Incubi Darkness. What is the? It's very similar to the color we have achieved here. But of course, if you just apply Incubi Darkness, you don't have the shading. Okay, so just to make, uh, I I have a, I have put as well Cabalite Green on my palette, and I have put Cyberite Green. Okay, and with these three colors, we are going to do the highlights on and the shades, and, and we are going to work on this. So let me let me start with the maybe with the knee protection. Okay, so I will start first with the cover light, the darker one, and we're going to age highlight, okay? Here what you want to do really is to start creating more definition and highlighting all the different elements. Uh, the chaos symbols that you can see that they are here, they will go in gold, so I will do this later on. In this video I'm just focusing on the green part, okay? So I'm applying like that. And we'll keep going. Okay, we are going to do as well this the protection. And remember these are quite all miniatures. And they are metal. I still like the metal miniatures. From time to time I like to paint these old miniatures. It reminds me when I start in this hobby. Always good memories. Although my first team of blue ball was plastic. Because it was on the, the edition the one in the 90s that was Humans Against Orcs and I bought with some friends and I choose to have the Orcs and then we apply here this ok and I will apply as well so what I'm doing here on these bigger parts I'm applying first Incubi Darkness and now I go at the edge and I apply ok and here what you can do is just the middle I will do as well as you can see. I will do the helm, the the helm, the the helm. Okay, the, well, the, the especially this face protection. Very big. And then I'm going to play a little bit. No, because this is gold. We have the symbol of the chaos there, so it's a little bit not that crisp anymore, but next to the horns hey let's do this part because to, for the learning purposes this is um, more than enough so now I'm going to take cyber green and with the cyber green I'm going to start adding some additional highlights where you think Like that. Okay. And I will go back with the cover light and I will melt it a little bit together. I will do the same on the breast protectors.
the breast plates I have to say. Okay, go like that, no. Just like that. And I keep. And I will keep working on this. So I will do the same on the rest of the miniature. Okay, and as I said, uh, my objective normally is to have a nice tabletop finishing, okay? I'm not pretending to put this guy into a painting competition. Just to have some nice paint jobs. Okay. So I will keep doing that on the rest of the miniature and I will be back so you can see the final result. Okay, so I just paint the rest of the miniature as well and this is how it will look like once you have done all the edge highlighting. So I hope you like this video, I hope you have find this interesting, please give a like if you have liked it, share if you think other people can be interested in as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!